a beautiful, peaceful night. Uh, sun's going to go down in about half an hour. Uh, it's quiet. Air is fresh. There's a little rain today. And it is September 14th, 2023. And I'm at the cabin in New Brunswick. Why is that significant? Well, hopefully it's not. But uh, I did release a video this morning and a lot of my viewers were actually concerned because they heard there's a hurricane coming this way. And uh, seems there is. I got a uh, weather alert that there is a hurricane watch, not for today, in two days. It should be here. But right now, I don't have anything to worry about. I'm going to relax and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, not planning on anything special, but uh, I do have to do some preparations at least. And it's kind of funny because almost a year to the date was Hurricane Fiona. Um, that one was pretty nasty from, you know, my perspective at least. And it seems this one could be even worse, but who knows? I'm not going to get too worried about it. I'm just going to see what happens. Uh, take the necessary precautions, but right now, I'm just going to enjoy the evening air. And also watch a little orb glowing in the trees. This is mushroom season, and they seem to be doing fine. Along the shoreline, the fall trees reflect on the water. A lone seagull takes a stroll, and all are settling down for the night. Well, Friday is absolutely gorgeous. Hardly any wind at all. It's sunny. Ah, uh, it would be a great day for going out in the kayak. However, it's not a leisure day today. It's a uh, prepare day. The storm is coming and uh, 24 hours, it's probably gonna be completely different. Uh, there's a few things I gotta take off the deck. I've gotta harvest the rest of my uh, kale if I wanna eat it. And uh, also get rid of the other solar panels. They're out on the deck. They could fly off as well. So uh, a little bit to do around the cabin. Better get to work. I've got to take advantage that it's a sunny day get as much solar as possible, make sure all my batteries are charged up because I really don't know when the next day I'm going to be able to use it. And I've got to lean it back as much as possible and I'm going to put weights on the back part so that it doesn't tip over. I'm always amazed at how many pine needles get stuck in the roof and in the rain gutters. Anything that could blow away has to be stored. And one place I'm particularly concerned about is how the storm will affect this area. Just a short time ago, I had some excavation work on the driveway and it used to, the path used to go right across here over to the water, but now it's been rerouted. It goes across this side and it filters through coarse gravel before it comes to another culvert and then it goes out to the water. I'm hoping that the, uh, the rain is not so strong that it rearranges my driveway 
Time will tell. Now as far as the camper goes, well it did really good during Fiona, and so I think it should be okay now. Uh, I've got it stabilized, uh, I've got the, uh, the front cover locked down. Um, it should be okay, and it's sort of pointing in, in the direction the wind should start from at least. Uh, not much else I can do with it. Now as far as my uh, blue little shelter over here, uh, it may be compromised, we'll see. I mean, it's just a tarp. If uh, it rips, it's no big deal, and all it's storing is some of my lumber, so uh, here it is before. <laughs> Well, my outdoor tools like rakes and shovels, they might blow around. I at least know, need to know where they are in case I need them. Now, I really don't think it's necessary, but in case the roads are shut down, if there's trees all over the places and I can't get out, then I at least have fresh water. I've got two barrels of rainwater. All it needs to be done is filtered, and there's my filtered there. Uh, I've probably got enough rainwater for like two months, or at least until it freezes over and I gotta empty them. But in an emergency situation, always make sure you got plenty of water. Well, it's about seven at night. The sun's going down in a little while. And it's unbelievably quiet and calm right now. Listen. Hardly any noise at all. Uh, it's that eerie calm before the storm, I guess. And the storm is coming. Here's the Windy app. And right there, that's Hurricane Lee. And I'm right there. <laughs> It's getting close, like the top part of it is almost ready to make landfall, but uh, the eye is still got a ways to come. Probably not going to be here until uh, tomorrow evening anyway. So I've at least got one night of peace, hopefully, although I expect the rains are going to start soon. I don't mind the rain, as long as it's just a little rain. As night crept closer, this heron gave one more try for a meal. Red sky at night is a sailor's delight. However, most sailors would have secured their boats by now, just in case. So inside, let me introduce you to my new kitchen. Uh, it's a work in progress, but this is what I've got. And for emergency preparedness of the storm, I've uh, modified it a little bit. Um, I brought my own jug of water. However, should I run out, I also have the, uh, the water from the rain barrel, which I can filter through the filter in here. Um, I brought food. There's my canned goods right here. Pancake mix, cereal, and in here are my pots and a few bowls. People want to know where my sink was. That's my sink. Will do for now. Now this is my new propane stove. However, it's not hooked up, so I'm not going to talk about it. I do not have a propane gas line in the cabin right now. It's for the future. I'm hoping that's going to happen. For now, I'm using my Coleman camp stove with a one pound uh, canister of, uh, of propane. Um, you know, a few things here. My uh, spoons and nice forks and spoons. I do have the refrigerator from the, uh, from the trailer my Alpa Cool down there. It really doesn't have much right now. Uh, some cold beer, 
Uh, but uh, I'll probably fill some uh, in the morning. I'll get some more stuff in here. And my power station, which is running these lights up here. Now, I don't run it all the time. Um, you probably see I'm using quite a bit. I'm using, well, I'm using 76 watts of power right now. And it's not just because of all the lights in the cabin, but I've got my uh, studio light right there just to fill in the light. And uh, I don't use all of these lights all the time. But I have, for the, the storm, I have my, uh, my first aid kit, again, from the, the trailer. I think that's enough. Um, it should work for me. I'm not too concerned. It is night now, um, so I'm going to chill out. Um, th there's no winds. I don't see any wind. It's calm. I hope it stays that way. Well, it's only nine o'clock, but I'm going to bed early because chances are I'm going to get up very, very early. Um, the path has changed a little bit and it's getting a lot co closer quicker. Um, there's the hurricane right there and uh, that's the tip of Nova Scotia right there. So um, the winds are going to pick up rather quickly. I expect by midnight the winds are going to be howling here, or at least the rain is going to be starting. So uh, get a little shut eye. It could be a long night. Well, it's now 3.25 in the morning and I can hear the rain. Um, let me just see where we're at. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot closer right now. That's the tip of Nova Scotia there. So the outer part of the hurricane is uh, has reached land, but the eye is still down there. Uh, I got some reasonably good sleep until it woke me up, but I'm not going to go out and take pictures right now at 3.30 in the morning. I'm going to try to sleep a little longer if I can. Hopefully it doesn't get too much louder and I can still get a couple hours sleep. Well, so far, it's 8 in the morning, and uh, not too bad yet. There's a little bit of wind, but it's nothing special. And there was a little rain last night, but it was nothing like the torrential rains they were expecting. Okay, well, guess I'll have a relaxing breakfast. Well, so far, the storm of September 2023 seems to be a little bit of a bust. You know, I mean... It's no longer Hurricane Lee, it's uh, post-tropical storm Lee. And it's certainly not Bruce Lee. You know, it's not coming in fighting. It's more like uh, Sarah Lee. You know, the uh, soft and fluffy and sweet, like a layer cake. Makes me hungry. I saw Prudence casually stroll by the deck. I guess she preferred the cedar trees for shelter. Although the treetops were calm, at a higher elevation the clouds sped by.
The sea churned like a witch's cauldron. Hard to say what was about to brew. Well, it's now close to one in the afternoon on Saturday. And the fact that I'm outside with an umbrella and I'm not getting blown away shows that uh, it's just not very severe in this area. I know Grand Manan had some uh, really strong winds up to, uh, I think, 130 kilometers an hour. But here, uh, there's a few little gusts, but it's nothing. It's, it's a typical rainstorm in New Brunswick, so uh, I just don't know if it's going to get any worse. I guess this is really good news for, uh, you know, a, a property owner. Like, I don't think uh, my cabin is in any danger, or my trailer, or my Jeep. But from a vlogger point of view, this isn't very exciting. Sorry, there's no, there's no cows flying in the air or anything like that. It's uh, just a typical day in New Brunswick. Oh well. But you never know, it could get worse. Let's see. I checked the culvert and it seemed to be diverting water okay. And where it entered the driveway, it was also working. At its final exit, all was well, but the only casualty was about to happen. Watch closely to the left as a tree falls. The water continued down the side of the cabin, however it was not the path it was meant to take. The forces of nature have their own ideas sometimes, so I got out my raincoat, my shorts, and my wellingtons to dig a new trench those forces would be happy with. As for the Jeep in the background, the front window had a leak in the weather stripping. The trailer pad was the next issue, as water pooled up with nowhere to go. So I dug a little path to divert it from the trailer in the cabin. I ended up with a cute little brook as a bonus. Well, I think that's it. Storm is subsiding. Wasn't really much of a storm anyway. Just a typical New Brunswick rainstorm as far as I'm concerned, but I'm sure some people had it bad. Where I'm at, it wasn't really a big issue. However, all that work I had to do, uh, rerouting the water, you know, making those little, you know, drain paths, I worked up an appetite. So tonight, I'm going to make something special. What do I got? Some P.I. potatoes, almost the last of them. And some condensed tomato soup. That seems like a good basis. However, before the storm, I actually got to harvest my entire crop. I've had these two buckets out here all summer. I think I planted them around April. Totally left unattended, uh, naturally watered by the, the rain, and it's been very rainy this summer. And uh, this is what I got. My green beans, the, uh, the plants are a little scrawny, but there are green beans on them. And my kale, leaves are a little small, but I think they're still edible. Here it is, keeping cool in my refrigerator. Look, it's still good. Looks good to me. Time for some chopping. And peeling.
Note to self, buy a sharper knife. So even in the cabin, I'm just not into long, fancy meals. I like things simple and easy. Boiled potatoes. It's the first part. Well, the potatoes are cooked. And normally that's all I do um, because the beans could cook with the soup. However, I tried one of these beans in advance and uh, because the way they were grown, they're tough as nails. So they're going into the pot as well just for maybe a minute or two max. And then I can drain it. Now, the condensed soup. A little water. And a tiny bit of oat milk. Looking good. Now as this is, it would probably be a really good vegan meal. Healthy. Well, okay. So the condensed tomato soup had a little sugar in it. And, but generally it's healthy. However, I'm not done yet. Because uh, I'm going to get trashy. You could say I'm like the, the John Waters of the culinary scene because for me, soup is not filling and I want a full meal. So here's what I'm going to do. Reached into my refrigerator and I'm bringing out this. Some Michelina's Penny Primavera. I picked this up for a dollar. You don't need to keep it frozen. You can keep it in your, like if you're in your camper or your cabin, you can just keep it refrigerated. It'll last at least a week. But this bulks up what would be a very unsatisfying soup for me. There. Super trashy. I love it. And I call it Slim's Hurricane Stew. Well, a hot, hearty bowl of soup. The pitter-patter of rain on the roof. What could be more relaxing after a long day? Mmm. Perfect. Trashy, a little bit healthy, and delicious. As night closed in again, the threat of Lee's presence was over. I guess he just simmered down when he got wind of New Brunswick's laid-back lifestyle. Oh, that was one good soup, but it was filling. I'm kind of stuffed. However... I think there's still room for dessert. Now, before you reach any conclusions, I actually bought this case of beer um, four months ago in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. I couldn't pass it down. I was going through there on my way to Ontario and it was half the price it was in Canada. Go figure. Now, I think I should be proud of myself because I did a video on bad weather without any sense of drama. I didn't need it. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm sure my viewers would appreciate it if uh, a cow flew by or 
was huge waves or if I was really stressed out, but I wasn't. Sometimes things are looking pretty bad, but they actually turn out pretty good. And that's what my day was like, so cheers. I love it when that happens. No issues, things go as planned. That's exactly how I like it. Oh yeah, same old. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my others as well. I'm going to chill out, listen to the rain, and watch it get dark. And who needs a dishwasher? Let's let Lee do the dirty work. Bye for now.